Hello Anna. Welcome to Mark Sussex Slotman. Episode 23. Uh, there's not a lot to see down at the bottom plot. Um, all of the uh, potatoes are through now. Um, so that's all good. Um, now onto the main plot. I've done lots of work on here. I've continued to make more raised beds. So there's a fence there. To some sort of support when the wind comes. Uh, I've planted out the peas and the guttering. They are in here and they've all taken well. They're all up about sort of six inches now, seven inches. They're just starting to grab onto bits and bobs. Um, here's a new raised bed I made. Run out of wood chip, unfortunately. So uh, it's all looking fantastic over there now. Um, the swift potatoes are definitely through. Uh, shallots are doing really well here. Uh, there's nothing in this bed yet. Um, and there's the onions in there. All doing well. Constant weeds, but I'm keeping on top of that now. Uh, nothing in this bed at all at the moment. Uh, this is the asparagus bed, which I still haven't taken a, a cutting from. But uh, there's a few succulent looking ones down here, which look like they need to be taken home. But um, I may have to resist because I've been told not to, to pick for the first two years. Uh, I've planted out the brassicas today. So we've got a couple of broccoli in there, a couple of kale and a couple of cabbage. Uh, I've got some more on the way, so plant some loads out later. Uh, what else have we got? The bare piece of ground that I was telling you about, which I said had drew some half strokes on it. There they are. Um, and the, the blotty beans outside look a bit, I don't know, weak. They're kind of a bit yellowy. They could do a nitrogen food maybe. Rhubarb. And the, uh, the garlics. Doing well. A couple of these are split already. There's ten there. Yep. Okay, into the tunnel. Um, I've planted out all of the uh, tomatoes, which I did the video on last week. So there they all are. All along there, I've got eight different varieties. Sorry, two, so eight plants, but four different varieties, two of each. Um, and everything else. So we've got cucumbers there. I've given away a few tomatoes earlier today because I had too many of them. There's the pumpkins. Uh, a couple more cucumbers down there. Another one in there that needs repotting. Some more. Uh, tomatoes there, the celery that could do going to the ground soon, I'll try and do that later. Um, a load more tomatoes. The other carrots that I sowed a few weeks ago, they're all up. My salad, my uh, cut and come again salad, which I might take a cut and come today and have for lunch or dinner. Um, what else we got? A goji berry plant, which I got in Morrison's for a pound, um, which I'm trying to grow in here, see what, see what happens with that. It's meant to be a, a super fruit with loads of antioxidants and uh, things like that, so that should be cool, um, amino acids and things. Uh, chives, which um, there's a crust on the top of the compost out, but we have to move those out and, and plant them up somewhere else. What we've got in there, Swede I believe, yep, Swede in there. Uh, some more brassicas, I don't know which ones I've planted in now, I think they're probably cabbages. Um, sweet peas, are all up, apart from one or two. Another salad, which is mustard I believe. And um, what else have we got in there? Spinach, and only a few of those will come up actually. Um, some parsnips. Some melons, uh, the chard. Um, I've taken a cut of the broad beans today, so we'll have some of those for uh, some of those later on, some sort of dinner or something, or later in the week. The carrots I sowed back in February are all up. I'm not doing amazingly well. I thought they'd be a lot higher than this by now, but they're not. Um, the nasturtium that I planted a couple of weeks ago. The potatoes, which still haven't flowered, but I think there's the starts of some flowers there. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's just the start of something coming on there. Uh, some climbing French beans, some short French beans, dwarf ones, um, and runner beans, scarlet. Uh, sweet corn is all up. Some crown fruit squash and button, button, butternut squash. Uh, what have we got in there? Some more cabbages. Uh, some lupins for the garden at home, and some more lupins for the garden at home. Celeriac, which hasn't come up yet. That's one or two coming up. Uh, some courgettes. Some chard down here, which needs to be planted out as well. I just never find the time to do these things. Um, a gooseberry, which I got at the same time as a goji berry, which was found in Morrison's. Um, some other squashes there, I don't know what they are. And then more courgettes, sorry. The broad beans, which uh, didn't, get a, didn't, didn't do very well, but I seem to get a reasonable crop off them. The radishes that I planted about two weeks ago are doing fantastic. I planted some beetroot down here, and that's all taken very well. Uh, my lone cucumber, which is a ridge variety, I think market more, which I popped down there, so hopefully we'll have a crop off that in a few weeks' time. We've got six um, 
cucumber melon, the James Wong speciality are in there. Got six of those, I'll have to give a few of those away. Uh, and Chinese lantern and some aubergines because I've got to sell aubergines and left it a bit late, but hopefully they'll catch up. Um, and the strawberries, which are all up here, all got flowers on. So it won't be long until we have some strawberries, I would have thought, probably middle of May. Anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks, guys. Take care.